All right, guys, we're going to talk about optimal and minimal lengths. Uh, Alice, do you know what optimal lengths are? Not quite. Right, so optimal lengths, how about while I'm talking, you do a takeoff of, of that. So just take off the joist. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so optimal lengths are, is that sometimes a supply doesn't carry all lengths of, of timber uh, or lumber. Uh, and what we need to do is we need to actually go, well, we could, so let's do it. So let's go to um, framing at the moment, Alice, the tab, so framing. And you'll notice it's got advanced framing there. See that, it's got advanced framing. If we click it, uh, yeah, edit scene more. Mm -hmm. All right. What it's going to do is going to tell us at the moment we've just got 14 joists all the same size, right? So that's no biggie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, what happens if we want to do, say, multiple lengths of multiple things? So, what I might get you to do is just quickly draw some walls. Leave that estimate open. Mm -hmm. and draw some walls. Okay. Yep. Yep. What size walls have we got and what are we choosing? Okay, that's masonry, so we can't do that because we need timber. So mm -hmm. click on that drop down and go masonry veneer, the top masonry one. Masonry veneer. Yep, okay. All right, just quickly draw a couple of walls for me. Yep, yep, a couple more. Should have gone clockwise. Oh, whoa, 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 that's oh. actually a mistake. When you draw walls, you need to go the other way. Oh, that's okay, we can go delete on the keyboard, delete on the keyboard. We deleted our joist because it was selected, see? Yeah. So I'm going to have to go uh, escape. If you ever do that, it's a good mistake to see. Escape. I mean, escape space. But I'm going to go um, control Z. Mm -hmm. Right. That brought my floor back. Right. right. Give yourself some room when you draw. Why don't you move the joist up? So that's it. Your pan there. Right. And now we we'll go walls. I'm going to go. I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut called W to make it quicker to get to the walls. Yeah. Right. Now when you draw, you always draw clockwise, not okay. anti-clockwise. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, but up at the top up here, before we start drawing, we're still in single masonry with cladding. So let's oh. go up to single masonry and cladding. You can stay in the tool now. Yep. And we're going to go masonry veneer. That's it. Righto. And now you notice the line thickness has changed. Yep. Right. And uh, yep. And go back and join there. Yep. Okay, good. So we've got a block wall there. Now quickly create some scenes so we can see the timber. Some what's there? Scenes up the top up here. Right, right, right. Yep. Click. No, one on the left. That's it, the camera. Yep, okay. click that one there. Move that over so we can see it in the screen. Okay. When you want to grab a, a, a toolbar, to grab it from there, right? Uh -huh. Okay. And we'll go submit. Righto. So what that's done is it created these things across the top called scenes, and essentially, inside of these scenes we have structure. Right. Right. <laughs> and these um, uh, timbers that are required to build this are all different lengths. Right. right, but we might want to order it in several ways. So now I can close this down and move this over, mm. right? And I'm going to refresh my takeoff. All right, most of the time, I'm going to close that now. Right, I'm going to take off all. Take off. Framing. Inside of framing, I have flooring and I have advanced framing, which is what we want to talk about. If you don't have advanced framing at the top up here, I'm going to get you to do it again because I'll explain to everyone. See down the bottom, it's got that tick box advanced framing. Just tick it, right? And go generate update report. Down the bottom. That's it. Okay, right. Now you'll notice it's kind of different. So if you click on the frame, uh, it's, yeah, click there, yep. Right, and you'll notice it's telling us how many meters of timber that we've got and everything like that. But go back and click on advanced framing. Advanced framing. Up the top up here. Oh, yes. Yep. Okay. Advanced framing. Yep. Generate report. Okay. Good. What this has done is now changed it the way that the takeoff's happening. So we have advanced framing. So if you click in advanced framing, edit see more. Okay. Right. Up the top up here, we have these things minimum length and optimum length. Optimal length, uh, basically what that's done is that would be the preferred length to purchase. So anything less than 1.8 meters will round up to 1.8 meters. Uh, but the minimal length is 0.9, which means we can't order anything less than 0.9. So basically anything that uh, has come in there, and we'll just scroll down and let's have a look and see if we can explain it. So let's go back up to the top, Alice. All right, and we've got some headings here. Just hover over those headings. Right, that's the name of the product there. And then the type is floor joists. So you can see below, scroll, just go down a bit where it says floor joists, that's it. Right, that's the floor joists that are in the job, which is over here on the right. Mm 
click on see that right that's the floor joist that's what we're we're looking at but if we go down here and in Australia we use a thing called nogging if you scroll into this frame over here right these things here they're called nogs right that's called a nog right they don't call it that in America they call it blocking and they don't always use it however and then the next one you got bottom plate so the bottom plate is the bottom plate here right all of these things are coming in at different lengths but you'll notice that we actually have at the top it says actual length that's the length that we cut it however we can't buy actual lengths at that size it we need to round it up to the next size right. so we can't buy 2.9 meters of joists we can order we can buy three meters and you might have different increments from different suppliers well basically all of these lengths are coming from up the top where it says optimal length so if you click on optimal length in the drop down mm -hmm. right we can go and just let's just choose 4.8 Yep, right. Right now if we scroll down, okay, you've chosen but you've got to click outside of it. Okay, click outside of it, so there we go, okay. right? Okay. Now what that's done is it said the optimal length, scroll back up to the top please. Optimal length for framing, so solid timber, you've got it as 4.8, and noggings, you've got 1.8. So let's just change the, the optimal length for noggings to 4.8 as well. Right? And the wall blocking, change it to 4.8. All right. Now let's scroll down and see if we can see any 4.8s. Right, notice here that we actually have one at 4.8, right? And as we go down further, it's rounding up short lengths into larger lengths because that's the optimal length we want to purchase. It's easier to get. In this day and age with COVID, I know that you know, you know about COVID. But anyway, what it is, it's harder to get timber, right? Mm. Right. So because it's harder to get timber, longer lengths are more expensive. Yeah. So we really want to actually reduce our optimal length. So let's scroll back up to the top. Mm -hmm. Let's reduce our optimal length to our minimal size. And therefore, what Pluspec will do, well, we're, let's not go to 0 0.9. Let's go to, say, let's go to 3 meters. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Right. Click outside of it. Okay. Oh, what are you doing, man? Oh, you're going to do all of them, are you? Yeah. Okay. Right. So if you can get 3 meters as your optimal length, it's going to... Right now it's going to round all of our nogs up to three meters. You'll notice where it says one at three meters. Basically we over ordered a little bit because we only actually need on the left hand side, this is the quantity of blocks that we require. There's three blocks at 400 millimeters. So therefore it's 1.2. So what it did is it rounded up to the nearest optimal length, which is three meters. So we've got a little bit of waste there, but you know what, that's the kind of stuff that it's good to see. So your minimal length as well. If you go minimal length, let's just go to minimal length there and just, just click the cross next to it and get rid of it. Right, and we type in, I'm going to type in 1.8 here. Okay, get outside of it, click out of it, click out of it, and that's it. All right, let's go down. Basically what that's done is it made my minimum length we can order as 1.8, so everything's going to round up. So optimal length and minimal length are actually just what you can purchase, right? And it's going to do this. Now, if you wanted to export these lengths to your suppliers, go back up to the top, Emily. Uh, sorry, Alice. <laughs> Export takeoff. Right, and we're going to scroll down. Scroll down to the bottom. Now, we can export a cut list and an order list, which basically, say for instance, you didn't know how to you know, do build houses, but I could probably give you a list of things and teach you how to cut them. So an apprentice, for instance, when they first start up, they don't know much, but if you give them a list and say, hey, I need you to cut all of these walls at this length, it basically means you can keep the people that work for you productive, right. right? Okay, so if I go export cut and order length, click that one. Okay, and we're gonna just go save. Go okay. It should open this folder for us. Okay, but what we need to do is we need to find it. So we need to go by date modified at the top and that way it should turn up. No, no, just click date modified, that's it. Righto. Okay, frame cut and order length. So double click it, that's it, and that might open in another screen, sorry. Right, okay. Let's grab that over. Right, so what we have is here's all the walls that Alice drew. Right. And to, to open this up so it's not all squashed, if we click up the top left hand corner here and we double click here, it basically opened everything up. Mm. Right? So this is the cut length, and it says see below on these noggings because basically we're going to cut our noggings out of our three meter length that we've ordered. So basically it concatenate or put all of the short lengths into 
longer lengths down the bottom. So we need six at three meters for all the sea below. Right. Right. But um, the nogging, we're going to cut it out of sea below, but we're going to cut our bottom plates out of a 3.3, our top plates out of a 3.3, and our common studs out of 2.7s. Basically what that means when the timber supplier turns up, he will deliver multiple lengths. Wow. And it's a really big mistake when you're working to actually uh, cut long lengths, a short lengths out of longer lengths, because you might need a longer length to span further, yeah. and the apprentice has gone and chopped them all out of the long lengths, and you go, yeah. ah, you don't have long enough lengths, yeah. right? Okay. So I'll just see if I can just give a one quick recap here. So don't save, I'm going to close this down here. If you're not sure guys, reduce the optimal length size and then you'll go, oh, but I really wanted to order that in another size and it'll make it really clear to you how to utilize these tools properly. Now, you'll also notice that at the moment, this is for solid timber, but LVLs and iJoyce, which are basically engineered timber, you would probably order them in different lengths and you can order an LVL up to 13.2 meters, right? But if it's different and you can't order those lengths and you want to change these, so for instance, you might like to walk in, work in 1.2 meter increments, what you can do is you can export your order lengths and basically, I'm just going to quickly just put that on the desktop and go save, right? Uh, and date modifier is going to frame order lengths and open that up, uh, the screen. What you'll notice is that it's actually come out with Here's all the lengths available for solid timber, which is just usually timber that grows on trees that we cut, LVL, which is an engineered timber, or iJoyce, and you can go and change these to suit yourself. So if your supplier doesn't supply 5.1s, basically go and delete it. All right, so right click and delete and move the columns up. Delete, it says here, uh, shift cells up and go okay. Right, and then I can go and go save, file save, and re-import, and that way, what you'll have is what suits your business and the companies that supply your products. Right what do you reckon? Do you reckon you'd be able to do that one by yourself, Alice? <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit yeah, in it. But, but guys, the reason why Alice is here is because if I get all clicky and start going from here to there, it's hard. Because But if Alice is doing it, I have to tell her where to go, which makes it easier for you to find that kind of stuff. And I think it helps out a lot. Mm. Eventually, Alice will, will be all over this and mm. be telling me how to do it. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, push like. If you dislike the video, push dislike. Tell us why. If you'd like to see more of Alice, let us know. Cheers.